Hello and welcome to Build Up To A Good Game and Hammer Chart are live at 1.55. Gonzo, how is oneself? Not bad at all, thank you very much. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Um, starting to look forward to the game, actually. Uh, oh, you must have some news, sir. Some news. Well, the official lineups are out in five minutes, kick off an hour and five minutes away. We'll take you through the lineups when we have them. However, if I was to say to you, hmm. there was two changes from the team Oh, I like played this. Arsenal. Yeah. What changes would you want? What would you desire? I guess I would desire... Um, oh, it's a tough one because I'd make three, but you've only given me two. So I'll tell you my three. Um, yeah, give me, give, give me your three then. Uh, so I would change Kurt Zuma. I would change uh, Thomas Suchek. And I would change uh, uh, Sue Fowl. So I'd have Johnson in at Sue Fowl, Mavropanos in at centre-back, um, which uh, by us doing that, I'd have Phillips in the midfield, but would allow us to play... Um, a left winger, if you want. Now, that could be Mikel Antonio. It, it could be um, Bowen over there on that side. Or it would be something like that. So, two of those three would be nice. Interesting. Well, mm. we'll get the official lineups uh, in, in five minutes' time. We'll see if you get your, your wish. Let's put it that thank, way. Thank, thank you, Father Christmas. You, you may get at least one of your wishes. Though. Oh, that's very kind. Moyes might even grant you two of your. Oh, he's he's a he's a generous uh, benefactor. He really is the benevolent Moyes, as everybody calls him. Yeah, uh... <laughs> anyway, uh, Colin Wood says it's like football foreplay. It's not football foreplay. It's just uh, to be honest with you, I, I don't want to say anything in case it's wrong. I just, do you know what I mean? Because sometimes I, I don't want to don't want to get people excited or get people angry, and then it turns out it's incorrect. <laughs> so it's not. Like, which is which I... is worse? Do you think getting people excited or angry? Because I think if if they're angry, then they're, they're, then it's basically their mood is only going to increase. Like if they're excited, their mood drops. It's it's never been wrong, but I'm just still mm. don't really. I'm just no. too scared. If, if it goes wrong, it's going to look a little bit silly. So um, that's why I like to. Um. Taste up Gonzo. <laughs> taste, taste, taste. Well, I was trying to say, I was going to say something Gonzo, but I didn't want to say have four play or, or tease because then that would <laughs> not on a match day, that's for sure. No, not on a match day. Anyway, um, the lineups will be out in a couple of minutes. Time will be interacting with you today, and um, not with the four player of the teaser. But this video is sponsored by Match Bingo. There's still time for you to get your bingo card ahead of the West Ham game as we take on Nottingham Forest. Um, this afternoon it's two pounds per card, you get 15 things that you need to happen you'll get some West Ham things that you need to happen you'll get some Nottingham Forest things you need to happen so you'll be cheering on every corner every throw in every goal kick you might need the woodwork to be hit you might need West Ham to score a left footed goal there's three things that you need to happen in the match and um, so that will be that will include stoppage time goals cards etc etc so if you fancy getting involved please do download the app using the link in the description it's important that you use that well it's not important it's important to us that you use that link and um, it's free to download it's free to sign up there are free to play cards on there but the West Ham game today is two pound per play but we recommend that you play the free games in order to get used to how the app works Robert Singleton who is a subscriber of Hammer's Chart won 25 quid last week so well done, Robert. Hope you've spent that money wise. I hope he treated himself. Maybe treat those Mrs. Mrs. Singleton got treated on Valentine's Day. Maybe. I, I'm sure she did. I'm sure she did. Mrs. Twenty-five pound can go a long way on Valentine's Day. <laughs> can he? Is that what you told uh, Mrs. Geo? Is it? I, I don't participate in Valentine's Day. Oh, don't you? Oh, oh, no. right. And how did she feel about that? We'll, we'll discuss it in the um, okay. in, 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 in the podcast. podcast. Okay. Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll okay. discuss Fine. it in the podcast. Fine. Um, uh, Tanner is like most of us He's been pessimistic all week with the same old story The closer I get to kick off, the more optimistic I get He's going to go 4-0 West Ham He's not even seen the lineup, and he's already going 4-0 West Ham Come on, um, no, no, that's West it. Ham is asking if Paqueta still injured He is still injured, Paqueta is unavailable For West Ham this afternoon He's not in the starting 11, he's not on the bench Either, I should really wait for the official Confirmation, I he's believe um, make he's, people angry or excited again. He's, he's, he's not involved in, in the squad whatsoever So don't get any hopes up for Paqueta Maybe he'll be back next week when we take on Brentford We've just been watching for the first Five minutes of the second half as well as the first half Against Liverpool, they were 2-0 down when we went live I assume they still are, otherwise People would update us in the live chat um, So hopefully we'll have Paqueta Back next week um, Mancunian says, another miserable afternoon in store. Best case scenario, we snatch a win after 90 minutes of boredom and misery. 
Oh. JB says, Wells win these games when he has X number of games to save his job. Yes, uh, it does. He does. He's got more lives than a cat, hasn't he? It's probably a bad um, example given the history of uh, feline friends and West Ham. Of would you like to know mm. the West Ham team? I think I've typed it out right. Can you read it as? Can you read it as I speak it? Does that make sense? I'm going to click uh, on the I banner. I can, but, it, but I can't. Oh, okay, I'll click on the banner on the thing. Right. Yeah. Okay. I've done the West Ham team. So the West Ham team this afternoon. Yeah. In goal, got Alphonse Ariola to back for Vladimir Sufar, Kurt Zuma, Nefa Gerd and Emerson. A midfield three of Edson Alvarez, James Ward-Prowse and Calvin Phillips with a front three of Mohamed Kadush, Jared Bowen and Mikhail Antonio. You read that team. beautifully. Well, click yeah. on it then. Put it up on the screen. That's a big one. There you go. There's, <laughs> there's your West Ham team today. What's your thoughts? Yeah, I got one of my wishes, didn't I? One of my Christmas wishes there, I think, um, which was a drop in of Thomas Suchek. So I, I think that I think if I if I was Ben Johnson, I'd be saying you can shove your contract where the sun don't shine. I think that's what I'd be saying to West Ham right now. Not only has he done nothing wrong, I think he has been in our top three players for the last four or five games. And I know we've played crap in some of those games, but I haven't really held him culpable for, for anything. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that may well be the icing on the cake in terms of us uh, keeping Ben Johnson. Uh, unfortunately, on that one, I'd, be, I'd just be annoyed if I was him. Uh, Zuma's a concern, but uh, maybe he's um, maybe he's fixed and it's uh, that'll be fine. Um I'm pleased to see Phillips in there. I'm pleased to see Suchek uh, dropped. I thought Phillips was one of the few players who probably came out of that game against Arsenal untraumatised, if that makes any sense. I, I think he all the worst stuff was done before he was on the pitch. I thought his long passing was was quite good. And um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite sure whether Moyes would have been telling everybody else off in the dressing room or whether the players would have been telling Moyes off. Um, but I, I feel that Phillips probably wasn't part of it, whichever way it went. So I'm pleased to hear him in there. And of course, the big news is Antonio. And, and that's that's just damn fine news, I think, Gio. Yeah, I think I'm really happy with the front six. I think the midfield and the attack, really happy with that. That's what I would have chose myself personally. Um, maybe I've argued Kone and over Ward Prowse possibly. But I think this is... As as attacking as you're going to get under David Moyes. I'm delighted to see Mikel Antonio back in the, the 11 today. It means that I assume Bowen will go back into his position on the right and Caduce will come over to the left. But Caduce looked quite good against Man United on the left. He was a little bit shackled because he couldn't cut in on his left foot. But when you've got Bowen on the other side, I think that sort of eliminates the lack of threat from Caduce to some extent. He will be direct. He will get at the Nottingham Forest right back, just like Bourne will get at the left back. And then you've got Antonio through the middle as well. We haven't really seen this combination, actually, because no. when Caduce came into the team, well, he came into the team because Antonio got injured. Yeah. So we've not really seen this front three because Paquette has always been available at the start of the season as well, and he would start there. So it's a new combination for us, and it's an opportunity for them to show what we can do. It's an opportunity for... Mikhail Antonio get back into the team and stay in the team. If Paqueta's available next week, then that'll make things interesting. Antonio's almost got one game to clinch his shirt because if he doesn't do well today, I think it's feasible that Paqueta comes back in and Bowen goes back up front when we play Brentford next week. So Antonio's got 90 minutes to sort of get his spot back. I think I'm, I'm happy with that attack. The defence question marks. Kurt Zuma, still got question marks over Kurt Zuma. I think he's lucky to start this one. So far, I think he's lucky as well. Ben Johnson can feel a bit harsh here. He can probably think, hang on a minute, I'm one of the few players that's done, at worst, all right in the last few games. I've not had a bad game. I've actually had some good ones just there. Yeah. But I do think he'll probably be the first substitute today, regardless of what we're looking like. Maybe Suchek. But if we're needing an attacking sub, we've got Johnson the winger. If we need a defensive sub, we've got Johnson the fullback. Uh, so... and, and the midfielder. Hey, we can play him centre midfield. He can play anywhere he wants, yeah. Ben Johnson. So, overall, I'm quite happy with the starting 11. But like I said, defensively, we'd have probably made a couple of alterations. But I think the expectation of Moyes to make four changes was probably a bit much. I never really believed he would make that many. I, to be honest with you, Gons, I'm pleasantly surprised he's made two, and one of them being dropping Thomas Suchek. Yeah, I mean, he just had to, though. And I agree, he's so stubborn and... He doesn't usually do it, but I mean, his job is on the line here. Uh, there's no doubt about it at all. He's 
he can't afford a thrashing today. Uh, he has to go and contest this game. He speaks to words in the press conference. Actually, West Ham do play uh, entertaining football. Um, uh, when you say things like that, you, you put a target on your back, particularly when you say we do because we score lots of goals. Um, now, we've not been scoring lots of goals recently. So um, he's put a target on his back with this one. So he, he'd be basically um, held to account for his own words. And I think he will probably know that. And uh, he's going to need to score some goals today. We're going to have to um, provide some form of a threat. And and that, that'll be enough. He, he doesn't actually have to entertain today. We just have to score a goal or two and win the game. And then, actually, he will... De- you, you Look. You know, come on, this this is a this is a man who's is very, very happy to remind us constantly. I think he, he thinks fans have got amnesia, he reminds us constantly about Prague. And, and I understand why he does it. Um, and I, what will happen is if we win this game, he'll say, look at the league table. And to be perfectly honest, he'll, he'll have a point if he had to point at the league table and say, look, things are not half as bad as the reaction that we've had recently. But he needs to play his part and he had to change something. Something tactical had to happen. And we have to see how much these players have got their peckers up today because it'd be easy to be uh, very downbeat after that, that humbling at the hands of Arsenal. Anyway, we've got some bad news today. Not in regards to West Ham, uh, Hammers chat. We've got some bad news. We do not have Charlie today. So there's going to be a few repercussions. First of all, there'll be no watch along. We'll be ending the stream maybe 15 minutes before kickoff. Um, so there'll be no watch along. There, I'm not putting the West Ham bench on the screen. I'm just going to read it out and then you're going to have to put up with it unfortunately uh the bench for west ham is as follows it's it's everybody else it's everyone else that's available it's fabianski ben johnson and anna creswell we've also got Ogbonna, ings mubama then we've got kone suchek and Konstantinos mavapanos that's the bench for west ham today it's not going to come up on the screen also the poll is live it's the first time i've ever done a poll on youtube charlie does it all um but he he's he's on holiday he's been off for the last few days he's off this weekend he's off the next few days to be fair it's his first holiday since we started YouTube. He's taken a day or two off here and there, but he's never taken a whole week off. So for the first time in eight years, Charlie is taking a week off work. Um, so he, he's got his feet up, probably not watching the game. No. He'll be enjoying himself. Um, but repercussion, there's no lineup for the for the, the bench there. But the poll is live in live chat. There's four options there. Just pick mm-hmm. whatever one you think reflects your opinion on West Ham's starting eleven. Now, that is obviously one half of the game today. The other half is the Nottingham Forest team, which I think I've done correctly, Gonzo, if you wouldn't mind reading it as I read them out. I've in got goal, it. In yep. goal for Nottingham Forest is Sells, and they've got a back four with Nico Williams right back. Felipe has come into centre-back to play alongside Murillo with Tavares at left-back. In midfield, we've got Dominiguez alongside... Sanger. Alongside, it's not Sanger. Who's in midfield, Joe? You're under pressure here. Danilo. Yeah, you, can you change that, please, Gonzo? Danilo uh-huh. is in centre midfield uh, alongside Domin- Dominiguez. Then you've got an attacking three midfielders. Is of... it two L's in Danilo? It's just the one. Thank you. Then, in, in the number 10 role, we've got um, Gibbs White. On the right-hand side, we've got Alanga. On the left-hand side, we've got hudson Adoy, And up front, we've got Awoni. So that's your Nottingham Forest 11. It's on the screen. Ta-da! There you go. Come on, Charlie. We don't need any of that. You stick your feet up on your sun lounger with your flip flops on. We're all right. I can even smell Danilo. It's not as smooth without Charlie, is it? Um, anyway, they're not before we talk about the Nottingham Forest 11, the Nottingham Forest bench again is not coming up on the screen at any point today. So listen carefully. I'll tell you uh, what, I can put, put the Arsenal substitutes bench up if you want. No, don't charge it down. We've got Turner alongside our former player, Kiati. Toffolo is on there with Nia Kati. We've mm. also got Reina, who's on loan from Dortmund, uh, as long as well as Yates, Origi, Riberio, and I don't know how to pronounce this name. Omade- Omabideli. There we go. Omabideli. There we you like go. It. That'll do. Uh, that's your Nottingham Forest starting live until Gonzo. What do you think of that? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, the front four, if you want to call it that, is really, really good. Uh, it has to be said. Uh, I'm quite pleased Sangero's not playing. I, I quite like him. He's a good player, actually. Um, Murillo, your boy there, two else. Yeah, I like him. Um, it's uh, yeah, he's he's a fine player. Gio said when I went to the corresponding fixture at the London Stadium. And Gio said, keep an eye out for him. And I did. And he was good. So Gio was right. 
There you go. Uh, but yeah, it's a good, it's a good team. It's a good team, and we've got our work cut out today. But I think we've got a good team as well, actually. To be fair, I'm going to pop that back up on the screen now. If, if, uh, if you let, oh, go on. What, what to do is, um, I'll, I'll do it. What, basically, what you need to do is you need to go to the Nottingham Forest starting eleven, mm. copy. Uh, down at the very bottom, there is a. Uh, the this is how it goes. This is, this is this is what Charlie does. You see. Yeah, this is what this is what Charlie does in the background. He doesn't need to talk you through it, but I do. There you go. Yeah. I'll just buy myself some time. That's the start of life yeah. for the teams there. And this is when, when normally you're just hearing a bunch of innuendo and food talk at this point. It's Charlie's beavering away, not like that. Um, behind the scenes, putting up the the uh, the amalgamated uh, lineups from both teams. Amazing, amazing I, work, Charlie. Amazing work. I think the Nottingham Forest uh, fullbacks are really good at getting forward, but defensively suspect. So actually, I'm I'm quite looking forward to watching. I do you think, by the way, a lot of people do discussing who is going to be playing left wing number ten. I think it'll be Ward Prowse in the number ten. Yes, Bowen right, Caduceus left, and Antonio up front. Is that what you, how you think we will? Start? I, I think that is how we start. Yeah, and you're yeah. right to say start. I do think there'll be some um, some swappage, um, but a but a front free swinging if you want. Um, <laughs> from... Well, with that with that in mind, I think. Mm. Could do some bowling. I've got a really good opportunity to get at Williams and Tavares today. But like I said, both of them going forward really good. So, but could do some bowling. Are fine defensively for wingers. They're really they're really good at getting back, tracking their man, putting a shift in. But getting forward is where we want to do the damage today. So, um, I'm we've, looking we've, forward to we've, it. So checks back in the lineup. <laughs> oh, for God's sake! What's happened to you? <laughs> Never managed that. I don't know. You said the copy and the paste and put them together. I was I was happy just to put the West Ham lineup up. Do you know what I mean? What would be the West Ham channel and all? I was I was happy. I was doing me swinging um, innuendos and all the stuff. There you go. I've done it now. That's Thank definitely you. the team. Now. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone. Oh, oh sorry. That, sorry, that's the wrong one, Chippy. I, I, was, I meant to click on. Um, there we bring go. Bring back that's, Charlie. Well, someone's someone's saying. Uh, Brian is saying as much. Um, there you go. Now we just focus on talking. Charlie does all the bits in the background for us. He's, yeah. he's an invisible man. Um, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's Matt from Paddles in there as well. Uh, oh, no, is he winding us up? Darren's winding us up. He's winding. Darren, I fell for it. Damn it. Um, anyway, oh. right. Mm. Bet wise, what are you fancying? Um, we don't need Charlie for this. This we can do on our we own. Can this, we can do this a ridiculously unlikely bet all on our own. Thank you very much. What, what are you uh, fancying? I, I, can we do that? Do you know what you said earlier? A left footed shot. We definitely we've got to be in for one of those, isn't we? Because um well, I well, I was gonna say both Bowen and Caduce can hit a left footed shot. Um I tell you what, Antonio can't hit a left footed shot, but it won't stop him from having a go, will it? You can't include it in the bet, unfortunately. You can do it as okay. a single, but we don't no. like that. We need a we no. need a builder so that we can do a little bit of a decent. We do need a, we do need we do need a bet builder, don't we? Well, um, can we do an Antonio shot off target? Um, you can do Antonio shot. Okay, Antonio will have a shot. That's fine. That's you're not getting that. It's rubbish odds. Sorry, you're not getting that. I think we have to back West Ham to win, right? I think I agree. we have to. Right, so we need to put West Ham to win in there. I'm putting Nico Williams to do two fouls. He'll be up against Caduce. We think he's up against Caduce. I believe us. I think we're right. Yes. So I'm going to do Nico Williams to do two, commit two fouls. Um, we can do him to get booked if you want. I don't know who the referee is, but we could do Williams get booked. Let's boost the odds up a little bit today. Nico Williams get booked. Where are you? I'm. I'm wondering if somebody's going to make us look quite ridiculous. Like maybe somebody that we wanted dropped, like Soufal to get an assist or Zuma to get a goal or just somebody that's... that's. Um... Well, before we get on to that, mm. do you reckon Gibbs White will get fouled three times? Oh, I'd Phillips and Alvarez kicking at him. Do you reckon he's going to get fouled three times? Go on, go on, do this. I like, I like your way of thinking. Yeah, he's a good player, isn't That'll he? Do. Right, that, yeah. that's our bet, right? Let me read it out to you. And then I'll tell you how much... We'll have two winners today. We're going to have two winners today. This is the bet. Nico Williams to commit two or more fouls. West Ham to win the game. Nico Williams to get booked. And Morgan's Gibbs White to be fouled three or more times, right? Bit complicated. Mm. But two winners to win 250 quid each. If this bet wins, two people will win 250 pound cash. To enter in the live chat, please put the following phrase. Is this the way to foul Murillo? There you go. <laughs> Get that into the live chat. Is this the way to foul? Marillo. Marillo. You, you don't have to do the clap. You, if you've got a clap emoji, that would be nice, but you don't have to. Yeah. 
Um, there you go. Yeah, so, sorry, Harry. I, 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 I do it. I just... Gonzo gets his moment when I'm not here. He, gets, he gets his 1,000 to 1 moment. Yeah, he the gets glory. to go for the... Thank you, Mark. Perfect. There you go. Is this is the way to, to foul Marillo. Right. Thanks, Gonzo. Anyway, That's you've right. seen the teams. How are you feeling? I think there's a bit more optimism, certainly between mm. me and you there is, I think. Fruity, actually. I'm feeling a little bit more up for it today. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I think it's just because I spent the, the whole week moaning. Um <laughs> I've mo moaning and painting. I've still got paint on my hands. Basically, moaning and painting this week. So um, I'm going to stop both for a little while. And um, I am. I'm feeling a little bit better about unless, it. Unless we go like three 0 down, then you'll start painting again. <laughs> there you go. Start sending you sending you WhatsApp messages of frog tape again. Oh yeah, yeah. It is good, isn't it? It's bloody good. It's expensive, but it's worth mm. it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not. Well, um, that, 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 do you know what? That's a podcast itself. What's the best six pounds you've ever spent? I'm not sure it's frog tape, but I don't regret spending the six pounds. No, it's good. It's mm. definitely good. Um, anyway, we've done the poll. I had the results here. So I asked, what do you think of the starting 11? Um, 600 people voted. Thank you very much. Um, 8% said it was beautiful. Oh, it percent were really happy. Beautiful. I don't know what to put. I, I'm not as good no, as No, I like it. I like it. Four percent said it was rubbish. Twenty-seven percent said it was meh. But yeah. sixty percent said it was decent. Decent. So happy. I think you done, I think you've done well. Yeah, good options, good. I think. Yeah, uh, well, Charlie, Charlie will be back for the Brentford game. Don't worry. We'll, normal service. Shall resume. I'm, I'm a bit more optimistic, Gonzo, because at the end of the day, listen, we're crap at the minute. There's no doubt about it. The more optimistic than fruity. No, than I was previously oh, right. before the Sun okay. 11 came out. Right. So, we're crap. The mm. form's crap. The football's crap. Moyes is talking crap. Everything's crap at the minute. But Antonio's back. Sue checks on the bench. Funny enough, is uh, not in the forest, I think, or the, possibly the second worst team in the league for conceding set piece goals. <laughs> um, so we've, we've, he, I, loves, I, uh, he loves his stats. Um, <laughs> I mean, look, look, I'll just confirm now. I could be wrong. Maybe I've imagined this right, but let me just get the goal statistics up. Goal types conceded, set pieces. Oh, no, they're top. Sorry, they are the worst. <laughs> mm. <laughs> They've conceded 15 goals from set pieces. Burnley are second worst with 12. So we've dropped Thomas Suchek when we play the side that's conceded the most goals from set pieces, which, do you know something? I, I'm, I'm pleased he's dropped him. I just think it's a strange fixture to do it when you when you consider the don't, don't the... assume look just because we've got a data analyst don't assume that david moyes knows we have a data analyst <laughs> <laughs> do you know what i mean <laughs> who you want a check with who who's he all right um so so, so there you go and um, we're, we're playing the team that's conceding the most on set pieces um so so there you go uh but yeah listen this the this the front six, I'm really happy with. Antonio could do some We can do some damage. We've got goals for this team. And, I, and I've not been feeling like that for a few weeks now, actually. You look at it, and although Bowen and Caduce are there, you do feel you're at least one short. We've now got them in there. I thought Emerson linked up really well with Caduce at Old Trafford. I thought Emerson got forward really well and played some nice bits of football down that left-hand left side. So I'm, I'm hoping for a, a little bit of that today. Get Alanga pinged back. When I've seen Nottingham Forest play Newcastle mm. last weekend, they, they went on to lose. But I thought they were quite impressive, Nottingham Agreed. Forest. Alanga was drifted in field a lot. And he'll push himself up against a guard, which I'm not that bothered about, truth be told. Because when he was doing it against Newcastle, he's dragging Dan Byrne all over the place and he couldn't cope with it. Emerson will cope with it, a guard will cope with it. So I'm not too worried in that regard. The Warney will be a tough match for whichever centre-back he goes up against. I'm a big fan of old Warney um, there. Yeah. But I do, I do feel like their weak spot, which, like I said, I think their full-backs aren't the best defensively, is our strength. So... Yeah, I'm, start I'm starting to look forward to the game, actually, to be told, Gons. And it's one of them. If we can't beat this Nottingham Forest side, then we've got big problems because yeah. they're not in good form at the minute. They've been in the relegation zone. It wasn't for a points deduction. So this is not a good Nottingham Forest side. They, may they are improving slightly under Nuno. They may get better. But at the minute, they're not better yet. They're still on the improvement part. So this is a it's a good time to play West Ham. But I would argue it's also a really good time to play Nottingham Forest. So yeah, I'm looking... 
Looking forward yeah, to it. Yeah, I, I think so. Do we know the Liverpool score, by the way? I, I'm taking Ivan Tony's just scored, judging by Mark's uh, post. He just scored earlier. It was 3 1. Oh, Liverpool when oh, he was okay. doing oh, the bet. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. No, my, my, I should post it up there already. Uh, Mark, Mark just said Ivan Tony's already got more goals than that. So <laughs> he's obviously. The, the joke being, he's been banned. Yeah. So it's just. One of them stats, you think that's not good, but and Antonio's been injured a while, to be fair. But it, it, um, it's, it's still, it's, it's still a funny stat. It's a funny stat. Like it's, it's, like it's funny. It's funny. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, indeed. time for you guys to get involved in the live chat. Please put your thoughts in. It could be about not the boys starting eleven, the West Ham starting eleven, or how you see the game going. No score predictions yet. I'll get you to spam that in about 10, five, ten minutes time before we wrap up the show. But get your thoughts in. Van Keenan says, "How will we manage a kick off without Suchek? Will we manage to retain possession or?" Uh, from our own throw-in, where we try to play football, just punt it to Antonio. I, 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 do you know what? The kickoff does my nutting. I don't moan about it enough. That routine of launching it long, kick it back and launch it long. I, I don't. I watch for it. I don't think it's ever worked. I can't ever remember it working. The kickoff. I mean, I don't know how many times, how many games has he managed West Ham. I don't know, but however many it is. 200, whatever, however many games David Moyes has managed West Ham. Seen 150 and 200, whatever it might be. It's not worth And he, that's the old stats, man. The old stats, man. He didn't mind about the uh, about the set pieces and all the rest of it. He wants to find that out. It's, it's Liverpool, Liverpool awful. do it. I was watching today. They, they did it at the kickoff. Bang, back it went up to Nunez. And then it's hmm. the second ball landed in a flurry outside Brentford's defence. Uh, oh, there's no flurry. There's no flurry with West Ham. We'll, still, we'll still go long. We'll just... Hmm. Who we're going to boot it at instead? Um, surely not Ward Prowse or Bowen. So it would be Antonio, really. He'll just have to go to the side of the pitch and go down the touchline. Mm. Um, Matt says Antonio back is huge. I think bar Mavapanos over Zuma, this is the best team we could have fielded in this situation. Sufal's five assists and uh, Ben Johnson can't cross. Not sure I'd want him over Sufal right now. Mm, well, I, I hope we get. I hope we get the uh, assisting version of Sufal. That's why I said put him in a bet to get an assist because I've been moaning about it's, it's him. It's tricky because Sufal can't defend right now. So no, no it's, um, it's, Johnson's in better form. He, he, he is. I mean, that, that was the start of the season. There's no doubt about it. Sufal was. I think he did three assists in a row, three games in a row. He got assists, but it seems a long time ago now. He's not in that form at the moment. Doug says not happy with the guard starting. This pairing loses games. Bonner needs to be brought back that in. That would be a slow, mid, uh, slow defence, wouldn't it? Zuma and Bonner. That's the only trouble with that fast attack. Big yeah. Problem. Duffer said I'm over the moon. The check has been dropped. I never thought I'd see it again. Um, I, I'm like that. Talk says I'm making three one in some super fast counter attacks. Antonio to come back on fire. Barry says we need a proper decent win. He's hoping for three one with Bone Caduce and Antonio. Jack is predicting a Calvin Phillips man of the match. Um, Irons match says could see Phillips having his best game for West Ham today. Maybe even going as far as scoring. I liked. I liked. I thought he was okay. I'm. I'm not too bothered about the two mistakes. He's just so off the pace. I think we've probably got a good player there. Actually, Jeff says seems strange playing on a Saturday. The only downside is Lineker on match of the day. Um, Bacon says you're 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 grumpy for the twelfth time this week. You've got to cheer up. You're grumpy. Get. What's making jokes? <laughs> I, I, I like. His, he didn't, I like he didn't, his... he didn't appreciate the swinging gag. He didn't appreciate the Murillo stuff. I like his um his photo there. Um, Very clever periodic well, table. Good, isn't it? Chippy says if Moises drops through check, then that means Moises knows what the problem is and has done nothing to address it until now. When he has Phillips. Another Moy's favourite player. I would argue we've had no options up until now, though. We've not had another centre midfielder. I know people say bring Paquetta in, but he doesn't want to do that, does he? He want, he likes three centre midfielders in there. Saying that, even if you brought Paquetta in, we need mean Finals or Ben Rama come in, which he doesn't he hasn't wanted to do. So No, I mean what what it does do is this whole thing about that like, it was Alvarez that would get dropped for us signing Phillips. It shows that to be and he couldn't. Alvarez is just so, just played so much better than Suchek, so he has to keep Alvarez in. Mr. Pickle says, kickoff used to get the team up the field. The idea of you don't win the first one, you get the second one. The problem is we don't press high or quick enough for it to work. Absolutely. Greg, Greg says, I think everyone's happy Suchek is out, but the centre-backs worry him. Not being good together for the two seasons they've been together. I think a lot of people are worried about the He's only got a head. Uh, Greg's only got a head, got no, no torso. Maybe he's wearing a white t-shirt. 
Mm, yes. Turtleneck, a white turtleneck. Oh, yeah. Nice. Roger says, who's a girl lumping it to? Hey, a girl's going to be pinging that 60 yard pass onto Joe Bowen's feet. Yes. Hopefully. Yeah. Mm. Alex says, other than Sufal coming in over Johnson, team is decent. So check drop was much needed, but still three defensive midfielders, really. Liam says, most interesting part of this squad is the, having Antonio up front again. He can't score, but he's great at occupying defenders, which allows space for Bowen and Caduce. Could be good. I'm looking forward to it. There's a lot of pressure on Antonio. I think a lot of people's hopes are pinned on Antonio, which is understandable. It's not just ours. We were, uh, wait, honestly, we've, we've well. been here before. We've been here before. When it, I, I, I remember well, always saying it about... Um, Tommy about... just said, um, Antonio's been out for so long, people have forgot his crap. Now, I don't agree <laughs> with that, but... I'd... No, no, no. But this, this is what I was just about to say. I remember when it gets this bad, football gets this bad, I remember absolutely, you know, I, I was loving Zerati when we had Allardyce, you know, praying that Zerati come off the bench. People say, well, hold on, he hangs on to the ball too much and all that. And, and made, would made valid observations, but he, just, he gave a bit of something. He would attack. It was was something different, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm pleased to see Antonio back. And and, and he'll have a point to prove. Um. Our quest says dropping Johnson is a real kick in the teeth for him. I agree. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? I think it's yeah. a bit. Yeah, I'd, 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 I've got to say at this point, all, all Johnson's wanted is a chance in the team, right? And 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 base chance in the team and that, that contract, basically a squad wage. He got his chance in the team, and it was a chance in the team. To, it was his word to prove himself. I think he proved himself. I don't think he did anything to lose the shirt. I think Sufal was bloody awful. And I think he deserved at least a chance. He's done everything he can for the squad, everything he can for the team. He's played in every position he's been asked to play in. And he deserved a game at right back. You know, he really did. And, and I just think if that was me, I'd say, do you know what? I've done. I've done it. I cannot do any more for you. I'm not signing this deal. And I think if you've probably got Sean Dyche, and, and I, I'm, whether Everton stay up or not, and the the extra ban, we don't know. But let's just assume they do. If you've got Sean Dyche in your agency here saying, look, mate, I'm, I'm going to make you... You're going to play every game for me. Then you just think, Joe, I'm going to go somewhere I wanted because I'm not wanted here. And I think that's what probably David Moyes has done here. He's made Johnson finally realise he's not wanted. Happy Hammerhead says she's got the AA due at 3 p.m. She could miss her first. She's obviously been boozing all morning ahead of the game. No, well, look, I'll tell you what. I, th I think you'll be all right. I, I think, I don't think we are going to concede an early goal. I really don't. I, I, I think so, there's Those got to be a reaction. Ones. That's right. <laughs> You'll be fine, Kerry. You'll see him later. Yeah. Um, King says, think Ward Powers needs a big game today. My early season excitement about him has nearly dropped to check levels. Yes, yeah, it's, it's right. He's, he's been disappointing. Yeah, he needs he needs to do more with open play, but I'm hoping with three attackers rather than just two, there's a little bit more for him to aim for. Um, and his job his job today is not that. It's more difficult when you've got Ben Johnson as one of your wingers. When you get your head up and Johnson's there, the greatest of the spectrum, you're not zipping out to him. can, can go on, go do something. But when you've got Bowen and Caduce either side of you, it doesn't matter if you're limited. All you have to do is find the feet of one of those two continuously. It, that's what Ward Prowse's job is today. Help Antonio press. Yeah. Get back and help the midfield too when required. Um. Get on Dom Dominguez. He will be the one that's trying to dictate play for Nottingham Forest today. I'll be, I, I'm still uncertain about Dom Dominguez in there. Some games I think he looks pretty anonymous. Some other games actually he starts pulling strings a little bit from quite deep. So I'd like to see Board Post just not allow him to do that. I thought we were crap against Arsenal with that. We let Declan Rice get the ball and turn far too many times. We can't allow that to happen today. Yeah. So Ward Post has got to have a busy game in there. But I don't think it's that difficult of a job for him, just give the ball to Caduce and Bowen. That's all he's got to do. And then he'll he'll be helped score. by Suchek not being there. He yeah, really will. Because yeah, you've got Phillips and Alvarez to play yeah. better football. This team should be able to play better football than we've seen recently. Um, Suchek so. coming out of there has to contribute to it. If we, if we don't improve, then... Well, I've got massive problems. We probably already do, but you know what I mean. Joe says, as glad, I'm, glad as I am to see Antonio back so Bowen can get into his best position. Why are we getting carried away with Antonio when he's been average at best for a long time? Because we're desperate. I, I just think hope. I just, it's, it's just hope. It's, yeah, it's, we're it's desperate. A bad week. Yeah, it's it's that's it. I mean, it's, it's been so depressing. I think it is. It's a case of okay, okay we have got to a point. Maybe we can hopefully enjoy this game. I, I think anyone's got it in them to go through this game and and get another loss and get another hammer. And it's just hope. Yeah. Steve says a travesty that Johnson has been dropped. How can Phillips displace him on current form? 
I think Phil should display Suchek, really. I think it's Antonio I, I that's not Johnson that. out of the team. Yeah. And yeah. Which I agree with. It's Johnson not knocking Sufal out of the team that I, I, I disagree with in this regard. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm yeah, I totally agree, mate. Totally agree. Matt says last season Antonio was our one of our most creative players despite a low goal scoring record. I'm confident him being back in, it'll be great to see Bowen back on the right as well. He's getting excited. I think there's a little bit of optimism creeping in. I think there's a little bit of yeah. people being weary about getting optimistic, which I completely understand. Understandable, well. isn't yeah, it? Oh, so, yeah, all things are understandable, by the way. So, you know, you can absolutely under, you know, everyone's different at the end of the day. People are being, you know, people get excited. They go, oh, hold on a second. This is West Ham. They've, hmm. they've, 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 uh, they've let me down recently. Some That's me. Just, yeah, um, you know, but some people have just, you know, been completely ground down by it, and some people are thinking, you know, there's no way that West Ham can win this game. You can understand that absolutely all of it, you know. George says the centre back pairing is hugely worrying, but the makeup of the rest of the team is positive. Jeff says Caduce may bring the bring the best out of Antonio. Ben said it's mad Antonio goes straight in, and Ings hasn't had a look in after a great performance. Some Moyes up perfectly, only has one way to play. Sean says Antonio's back after injury against his old club. One goal for him, Gavin Tage. Uh, he said that's where he played his best football as well when he was on Monday Night Football. He asked, they asked him what was his best season. He said the one at Nottingham Forest. And then he just said about how he scored, I don't know, it was like 10 goals and 10 assists he got or something. Yeah. And then they showed him clips of him scoring from outside the box. And he said, why don't you do that West Ham? He said, I'm not allowed to shoot from outside the I, box. I heard this. I heard um, this. Yeah. He said it with a laugh for context. He said it yeah. with a little bit of a laugh. But you do wonder. But to be fair, right, I don't want to see him shoot from outside the box either. I've seen him, I've seen <laughs> him do it plenty of times. I don't want <laughs> to see again. He could kick it out of the stadium when he's inside the six-yard box. So, yeah, we, yeah, yeah it would be, uh, be well into orbit, wouldn't it? He's, he's only scored one. Outside the box for West Ham, hasn't he? Am I am I right in saying he's only got one goal from outside the area for West Ham? I don't, I don't know. I do. I do. I do remember that thing um, where someone put a clip together and it was him shooting and it, it was going right up and then they clipped it in. Do you that guy jumped from out of space yeah. in a hot air balloon and bang, bang and the ball hit him and he, he fell out. Yeah, it was funny. It was good. Yeah. I, I, let me just, I'm just grabbing the statistics here, actually. I should be able to get them. Uh, Mikhail Antonio, goals, zones total search um outside the box one uh 2021 2022 he scored a goal from outside the box for west ham um in the penalty don't know who it was against but he scored he scored 10 that season one was from outside the box and it's the only goal he scored from outside the 18 yarder in the Premier league the league cup the fa cup and europa league this doesn't let me click on this because league. actually yeah. Michael is absolutely right. It was a humdinger, and I think it was pretty early in his uh, Jamaican career, yeah. was it? He, he scored for West Ham. I can't remember it. I, I remember mm. him scoring because he went like a, a wild amount of goals he hadn't scored from outside the area. But according to who scored, he scored once from outside the box. And that was 2021 22. Don't know who it was against, but um, there you go. Right then, uh, Brighton away. There you go, Brighton away. Thank you very yeah, much, thank you much. M- Max and Mancunian and thank Joe. You. Thank you very much. They all said that he's a um, we saw the camera said he's Moises uh, rolling up a joint. Anyway, um, Dylan said he scored one outside the box this season. Who scored's lying to me? They haven't got yeah. it down. Uh. Um, there you go, anyone. Right then, time for your score predictions. Get your score predictions in, please. This will be interesting to see what the general consensus is. Make it obvious who you are going for, please. Because if you put 2-1, it's difficult to know if you're meaning West Ham or yep. Nottingham Forest, given they're the, they're the home side. So please make it obvious as to who you think is going to win when you put your score prediction in. Unless it's a draw like JB's going for. Um, Gonzo, what are you saying? Um... I, I don't I don't know whether I don't know why I I don't know why I I'm now feeling I'm hopeful that we can win I think we I think we might win three two um, actually I don't think we'd win three two actually because I he's got to change it he's he's got to change it he's got to go tight at the back I think we might win two one um, but I've I've thought all week that uh, Nottingham Forest are going to beat us it's only only changing mind in the last hour and I think it's because we're having a laugh and, and people are feeling a bit more fruity in the, um, and having a laugh in the chat. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of good good spirit in there as well. So, yeah, maybe maybe it's just that, not for any tactical reason. But I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased to see Antonio back. And I think I've been complaining. We're, we're, look, I, I think we play with two few attackers. Um, but to have an additional one and to have three attackers has got to help. That might be the right blend away from home. I do feel that we will have a counter-attack now. 
Um, I liked Phillips's long range passing. I think with Gerd's long range passing, maybe, but just maybe we might get away with not having Paqueta, uh, Paqueta air for this one. So, um, yeah, I, I might go for a little cheeky win. I think um, we'll see a bowling goal today back out on that right hand side. Um, he's got to sort of make it count. And I think Antonio, one thing I always I think Antonio does best is something you can't measure statistically, which is creating space. Quite often you'll see goals, even this season, where we we score a goal and we've benefited from Antonio's run or even just, just occupying two centre-backs instead of one. And actually Bowen in particular is the one that comes in and occupies that space in behind yeah. Antonio. He's able to get his shot away. So I'm expecting a Jared Bowen goal. All right, before we start taking your score predictions, a couple of bits of admin. Please do subscribe with me around here and also drop a like on the video. But also just want to point you in the direction of our sponsors of this video, which is Match Bingo. The link is in the description below. It's an app which you can download for free and sign up for free. There are free to play cards every single week. There's up to 10 a month, including bingos and there's always one Premier League game that's free to play every single weekend the West Ham Nottingham Forest card is £2 to play if you wish but even if you just download it and sign up and play the free ones it really helps the channel out so massive thank you to Match Bingo for their support and massive thank you to you guys that have downloaded it Right, let's turn to the live chat and see what you're all saying I agree with JB and I agree with Bradders I'm going 2 all as my score prediction Daniel says 2-1 Forest Stephen says 1-0, Steve uh, is agreeing with you and he's saying 2-1 West Ham Josh is going 2 all. Well, um, Brett is saying 2 0 for us, with Kevin saying 1 1. Ryan's going for a 3 2 win, while Adam's going for a 3 0 defeat. Doug's also going for a 2 1 defeat, and Lee's going 1 all. Brad is now saying 3 1 West Ham, while Alan's saying 3 1 Nottingham Forest. Steve's saying 2 1 Nottingham Forest, but Skipper's saying 3 1 West Ham. Andy's is the only person I can see so far saying 0 0. George is 2 1 Forest. Joe's 3 0 Forest. 2 2 says Brendan. 2 1 West Ham for Michael. 1 1 from Martin. Joe's going 6 0 West Ham. Scampy says 3 1 West Ham. Daniel's 2 0. Bob is 2 1. Uh, Jeff's also going 6 0. Aqua thinks we're going to lose 2 0 uh, or 2 1 because Antonio is back. Cyclops is going for a high school and victory as we, he thinks we're going to win 4 3 at the city ground. With Casey also saying 1 1. Christopher is saying 2 1 Forest, while Wasim is saying 2 0 Forest. But there's a couple more Desmonds with Ilan and Steve saying 2 0. Um, a mixed bag of score predictions coming in, Gonzo. Uh, I've not seen anything most, like it. I'm not seeing most anything people like it. Predicting goals, uh, yeah. a few nil nils. Andy and, and Vince is also saying nil nil as well. But there's a lot of three one West Ham, three one Nottingham Forest. It's become difficult to call for the live chat. I, I I, for totally understandable reasons. I've got to say, I, I, this is one of the few games I think no score would surprise you. Yeah. If, if if you if you were to say West Ham win two one, bear in mind the team, you think okay, I can see that. If you were to say okay, Nottingham Forest win 4 0, you'd say, okay, yeah, I, can, I can see that. That was on the cards. It's almost like everything's on the cards. And there's no way of collating this because we don't log everything. But that we sit here and we do a lot of these build up shows, obviously. Um, I, I can't think of it being more mixed than that in terms of wins, loss, and draws. There's normally more, you know, it's, 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 I don't know. It always seems to be like almost 70% are going for one particular um, result, not scoreline result. This seems really split, actually. It's uh, been very interesting. Well, I am currently just going to quickly um, do a quick poll for two minutes. Mm. Um, what poll. will uh, the, the outcome mm. be? Um, Forest win. Yes, yes. So we're going to get a win. Uh, we're going to get a, win, draw. a draw or a loss here. But it will be interesting to see. And if you can sort of stay true to what you'd said in terms of your prediction yeah. already because right. it, it, it looks pretty split live in the live chat now is a poll asking for what you think the score prediction will be well what you think the outcome will be what will be the results that's what we're after uh forest win west ham win or draw get involved the thank you to 968 people that voted in the lineups nine percent end up thinking it was beautiful six stayed on 60 percent for a decent 26 percent said meh and three percent said it was rubbish so quite a positive sort of outlook on the starting 11 for West Ham to J. Um, Stevie thinks Forrest are going to win 3-1. So does Nardo. Um, Feza thinks it's going to be 1-0, though. Um, ben thinks Antonio is going to get a hat-trick. Lim says 4-0 West Ham, 2-1 Forrest, 2-1 West Ham, 2-1 West Ham. Jack says 4-0 West Ham, push for Europe is back on. 2-0 Antonio. We need um, Liverpool to win next weekend, Gonzo. It's the League Cup final, the Carabao Cup final next weekend. So Liverpool win, 
the spot for the Conference League comes into the Premier League. If Chelsea win, chances are they're going to finish outside the European space, yeah. so they'll get the Conference League spot for next season. So we're going to have to be a bit of a, a Liverpool fan for 90 minutes, if you care about European football next season. Not, not, it's in West Ham's best interest that Liverpool win um, at Wembley. Uh, seeming, well, apart from they, they lost to Arsenal, aside from that, they look seeming pretty reasonable good form, don't they? So, um, Chelsea, you never know. They've done all right with that Cole Palmer. I think they're playing City today. Later they today. are. They're playing, playing Man City. So, I'll be tuning on Man City today as well. Max mm-hmm. says, big comeback today. 3-1 West Ham. Whereas Graves says, 3-0 Nottingham Forest. Stephen says, 3-1 Nottingham Forest. But Mark thinks we're going to win 2-1. Jay says, 3-1 with a Ward Prowse free kick. John thinks, thinks we look far more balanced with no I Thomas agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that's playing on his mind, the Ward-Prowse free kick thing, no doubt about it. Why? I just think it's that mental thing that gets in there. I, I think, it. I, I honestly think, if if the record wasn't 17 or whatever it is, and the record was 22, I, I think he'd have scored it this season. I, I think he's got a little mental block there, actually. He just doesn't get free kicks. He's barely ever... He's had a few chances, granted, but yeah. he's not really had that many. I feel like every game I watch Southampton play, he was getting at least one shot. Isn't that the- bad that Matt Southampton... <laughs> Get more free kicks than West Ham, and they were pretty crap in the Premier League. Usually played two strikers, didn't they? He draws mm. fouls a lot. Yeah. Um, the problem is to get free kicks, you need to get up the pitch and get yeah. outside the box. That's our bloody problem. We're playing counter attack in football, and we've got a guy waiting for us to almost benefit from playing outside the, mm. the starting 11. Anyway, right, we're going to take a look at the poll results now, then we're going to end this stream. So let me just click on it. What percentage can you see it, by the way? No. Oh, that's no. good. What percentage do you think it is? There's, um, to be fair, I needed to reset. It's in two minutes ago. How do I reset this? I need to, uh, I, I'm ending it. End poll. Can I get the results now? Where's it gone? There we go. Right then. What do you, what do you reckon it is going? How much percentage do you reckon is going for a West Ham win? I, I would imagine... I, I'd imagine it's something like 35% for a West Ham win. Um, and then I, I don't know, and then maybe it's, it's it's not there's not a lot in it. I think it's basically going to be thirds, a li- with the most being the win, um, the second minute being the loss, and then whatever, maybe twenty five percent for the draw, twenty percent for the draw. So I don't know. You were close with the draw. Twenty four percent said a draw. Twenty nine percent said not a Forest win, and forty five percent said a West Ham win. So it's slight com- yeah. optimism. I, I would say yeah. optimism rather than confidence. There's optimism yeah. in the live chat that we can get the win today. Um, so there you go. Yeah. Anyway, right, we're going to wrap it up there. Um, no Charlie today. He's um, having his first holiday in eight years at Hamish Chat. So there's no watch along. We're going to end it now. Uh, we'll both be back later on. I'll be back straight after full time. Guns will be back later on as well with his review of the game. Hopefully, celebrating three points for West mm. Ham. But thank you very much for joining us. We'll catch you in a bit.